Hi, my name's Kelly Phones. I'm an educator here at Montevilla Sewing Centers located in Portland, Oregon. Today we're going to be working with the Janome 9450 and we're going to be concentrating on their AccuFeed system. Now their AccuFeed system has a special ankle and there's this one, there's a single ankle as well as an HP2 ankle which works with your high performance needle plate. They do have different options to swap out the different feet. The machine comes with this one so we're going to be working with this one today. It also comes with the HP2 angle with the straight stitch, plate, straight stitch foot on it. The reason I like working with these is if you look under here, it adds a separate set of feed dogs, an additional set of feed dogs to your machine. So with it on, you have your lower feed dogs and you have an upper set of feed dogs. So all of your fabric is moving at the same pace through the machine. Instead of how it normally works where the lower piece of fabric, the bottom piece, is the one that's feed, getting the benefit of the feed dogs. So you get much more accurate results, plus you also get more power moving your fabric through. Now to put, we're going to take this ankle off and whenever I take my regular sewing ankle off my machine, I like to make sure I have a foot on it. Oops, I did not want to unscrew that. So I'm just going to, oops. Nice thing about this machine, if you feel you ha don't have enough clearance there, you can just uh, swing open that front door. So I like to tuck the one I've taken off the machine up there so I can be sure to find it again. If your sewing room is my, like mine in the middle of a project, I have a lot going on. We can do basically any stitch on this machine with this foot. However, to, to get full benefit of it, to have it fully powered, you need to hit this button and this activates your AccuFeed system and it will remind you to go ahead and put that AccuFeed ankle on. I believe they also, Janome calls it a foot holder. And you'll notice down here that you have a different foot showing. It's very similar to your regular zigzag foot, but this one is called an AD foot. And you have an A here and a D right there. I like to swing this door open in order to have a little more clearance to put the foot on. And you want to hook this right over the screw. And you have to have it backed out almost all the way. Sometimes I back it out so far that it actually falls out of the machine like it just did. And there is a hook in the back that you just get it lined up. And I always fumble around with these. So if you do as well, don't worry about it. I've been doing this for years and I still fumble around with them a little bit. I think it's just me. Other people, they're whizzes at it. So I'm going to click that hook into the back of the machine. There's really only one spot where it can go. And I'm going to... Finger tighten that. Then I'm going to drop the foot. And with my hand wheel, I'm going to lower the needle into the machine. And then I'm going to give that a final tightening. I like to use my screwdriver for that. There's a lot of vibration on these feet and if you don't get them on tight enough, they can back out on you. So I'm going to raise this back up. Often your thread will come undone in your needle. I've got something, it's caught somewhere. So let me pull it back out here. 
I like that with these you can open up the front door and then just tuck it back closed. I don't sew with mine open. So we're going to re-thread the machine. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to drop that needle and bring it back up. So we're going to redo that in our needle threader. And now our needle is threaded. So fortunately, I did not mess up the needle threader. Frequently, your needle threader is going to get out of alignment when you do things like I just did, where I didn't have the needle in the right position. I'm going to raise that. And this is, two this is a piece of flannel, which is very soft, that I just have folded over. So what we want to see is these points stitching out perfectly at the end. We want them perfectly lined up. If they're not, you have a knob over on the side. It's a differential, and that is going to change. It's going to alter how your feed system works together. So if you're not quite in getting the results, kick that differential up a little bit or lower it a little bit. Depending on the fabric, you may have to go one way or another, and it is a little bit of trial and error. So we're just going to stitch down here. And see, I'm not getting any displacement at all. So folded soft fabric can be a real challenge to get it to stitch out correctly. And I like to use flannels when I make quilts. So frequently when I'm using flannels to piece, I will have my AccuFeed foot on. You can also get a stitch in the ditch and a quarter inch for this particular ankle. So see how perfectly that lined up? I like to use this a lot when I'm putting on my quilt binding or I'm quilting. However, you can't have it fully activated. So if I turn this off, the benefit to that is I can now do any stitch on the machine, but it's not as the system isn't as strong. You will still have the benefit of the feed dogs moving your fabric through the machine. So I'm going to put it on one of my favorite quilting stitches. Come over here. I do have this one memorized. And I can just follow this. Come on. So I can line it up. Right here is center needle. Often I use the stitch in the ditch foot for this. So it's going to go right across that seam without any problem. Now most of the time if I'm using this, I'm going to widen it. I'm going to do different things. So whether you're using a decorative stitch, in, case, in this case it's a, a stitch that most of us use to put our quilts together with once we're done piecing, or you're piecing your quilts, or you're just working with really heavy fabric, this is a terrific system. So I hope that this little video has shown you how to attach your AccuFeed feet correctly. You follow the same process regardless of which ankle you're using. And I hope it's given you a better idea of how to get it all working together so that you get the results you want. If you have any questions, need any help with it, give me a call at our Beaverton store. And don't forget, you can open this door. So if you find this is a little tight to get this on, swing that open, you'll have a lot more room. So happy sewing, everybody.